Yes, lawyers are liars. And uh, they're there to uh, cover up people's lies for each other. The thing is, when one lawyer lies, then they backtrack and they they go to the uh, law society and they uh, they try to back each other's lies up and then they just you know they say, well, you lie for me and I'll lie for you and I'll tell that lie to cover for that lie. But you know what? I've got a whole pack of lies that I'm going to expose them with. Like for example here, I've got this letter here from uh, Kathleen Linton. You know, I was, I wanted to, you know, I, she was doing like an evaluation. Kathleen Linton from Edmonton, Alberta. She, you know, wrote a bunch of lies in this. She said that, uh, I'm going to read this here just quickly. Um, she said that, in my opinion, uh, the appeal has little chance of success. The trial judge did not make a reviewable error. There was a palpable error. I was actually ambushed. It says the client does not does not understand or willfully blind to the fact that he was the plaintiff in the action. He chose to represent himself and chose which evidence to call. His sole argument rests on the claim that his ex-wife ambushed me. Or ambushed him. Well, the thing is, Kathleen Lenton you actually you wouldn't listen to me you wouldn't you know you just you talked the defendant provided at trial email communication prepared by the client and sent to her who set out distribution of the property and the thing is it does not set out distribution of the property it just sets up all those emails were that I sent to my ex-wife are all propositional that my ex-wife did not accept. She never accepted any of the propositions. It does not, you know, like the thing is because she had possession of one property because she had like, uh, she made false allegations against me. And the thing is like when it comes to false allegations, you know, I got, a, you know, I sent a complaint about to the Alberta Law Society. The Alberta Law Society is all a pack of lies. And the reason why I sent her a pack of lies is because this guy by the name of Michael Dolan, my ex-wife lawyer from Pritchard and Company in Medicine Hat, had Rob Rem from McMahon Youth and Family Services fabricate a lie. And uh, the fellow that actually, or the lady that actually runs Family Youth and Services is, uh, is, uh, is uh, Christine Christie. And then Mike Christie is actually the, uh, is like the, uh, He's like the the head guy for uh, for uh, for child services in Medicine Hat, child welfare services. So the thing is, there's you know, in Medicine Hat nepotism lurks around every corner. And uh, what my you know, thing is like what Michael Dolan did. He actually coaxed Rob Rem, deliberately coaxed Rob Rem into uh, fabricating a lie, and he presented it to a a Queen's Bench judge that that would uh, you know suggest that you know I could be a pedophile. You know, the thing is, how would you like it if somebody pointed a finger at you and called you a pedophile and you, and you know you're not one? Yes, enough about me exposing, about bantering about this pack of lies that I'm going to expose, you know, all the way from Michael Dolan to to, uh, to Kathleen Linton to, uh, you know, to judges, you know, uh, the old justice minister, Ron Stevens. He actually sent me, a you know, some lies, so that's why I also... The other justice minister, they're all lawyers, and she has to cover for that lawyer. The thing is, so it's, they all have to cover for each other. Because, oh yeah, we got to make something wrong, even when it's right, because we can't discredit our, uh, our legal system. It's a legal system, it's not a system of justice. And it's all about a pack of lies. Anyways, on with exhibit, uh, exhibit Q. We'll go on to exhibit Q. An email dated November 19, 2003. In this email, did you not state, now I'm going to want far more than 9,000 to be paid? I don't recall all the emails because I lost my computer back before that. I don't recall any of the emails. There's no way of confirming it either. So then on that same email, um, you don't recall stating that I'm going to have to sell the medicine at home. I did not answer this question regarding Exhibit Q properly because Justice Karen Horner and Rhonda Sales ambushed me with fresh new exhibits 
exhibits M to R exhibits I knew nothing about exhibits M to R could not be adduced into trial pursuant to Alberta Rule Court 158 subsection 1E both Justice Karen Horner and Rhonda Sales did not respect an act respecting witnesses and evidence and myself as a witness pursuant to the fact that states that Rhonda Sales could only have served her fresh new exhibits not less than seven days prior to trial or inform me of her intention to use them at trial uh, as the Canada Evidence Act states Canada Evidence Act C5 sections 28.1 and 28.2 of the Canada Evidence Act state that Justice Karen Horner failed to fulfill her duties as a judge by letting herself and Rhonda Sales ambush me with fresh new exhibits that could only be served seven days prior to pre prior to trial if Justice Karen Horner had respected my rights the law and the rules of court then I could have answered much differently if I had knowledge of these exhibits that they're going to be you that, that they're going to cross-examine me on them the correct answer the proper correct answer is I find that you have just like the last four exhibits M N O and P you've only read the yellow highlighted portions of this exhibit and having only what you have read from these email exhibits for the record appears deceiving I would like to have the entirety of this email read Miss Actum you've only read for the record just a small sliver of information yes this is my email and therefore I did state everything on it so now I'll read for the record all of this email Medicine Hat Home opening balance on principal $84,000 Calgary Home opening balance on principal $96,625 the Medicine Hat Home will gain $15,944.07 more in equity from the mortgage payments the Calgary Home will have to pay $6,047.38 more in interest the Medicine Hat Home had $45,000 as a deposit plus $1,600 for tax and legal fees uh, $46,600 uh, 46, then I received the check to conclude the Calgary Home deal $35,900 that is a difference of $10,700 I think uh, what uh, I think uh, you are not going to like what uh, okay we'll do it again I think you are not going to like what I want to work out the, the deal after considering the precise figures you're fucking nuts so we don't uh, have so we don't have to uh, let the lawyer take us uh, for a ride and commence divorce action and matrimonial property action I have decided that the way to go that's the way to go because I am gonna want far more than nine thousand you pig here is what I want firm to include the deal sixteen thousand three hundred and forty five dollars and seventy two cents cough it up very soon or let's both lose far more through legal fees uh, at court you fucking fool you're gonna have to sell the medicine hat home if you fucking well don't you fucking bitch that's a firm fair offer still giving you the better end of the stick I could still ask for more that that's the only way uh, I will not go to court and fucking well cost us big bucks I will then pay your visa and joint MasterCard and uh, your half of the Red Cliff taxes you you paid fuck off that's the end of the email okay now I'm gonna answer the question Miss Actum yes this is my email and uh, it's a proposal I made to you a proposal that you did not accept all I was seeking was a fair 50-50 split on matrimonial and offering to pay the Redcliffe uh, home taxes as well uh, as paying uh, your visa and our joint MasterCard once again for the record this was a fair deal 
I made to you, Miss Acton, an offer that you did not accept. 